Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing something a little different today because I went and broke the new boat. Stick with us. Yeah, so we had the boat out probably for maybe the sixth time, fifth time maybe. And I was running at about 55, uh, 56, 57 miles an hour, somewhere around there. And we're out in the river here and I heard a big bang come from the back. And out of the corner of my eye, I just saw something almost like it flew by us. Um, but in the corner of my eye, I saw something black uh, hit the motor and uh, so I come off plane and we took a look out back. So originally, just looking out the back against the motor, it didn't look like there was anything wrong. So I started it back up and started to move forward just really, really slow and I heard a clunk, clunk, clunk. So we stopped again. It was at that time that I took a look at the second um, graph that I have at the front and realized that the Lorentz was all messed up and then it dawned on me that there must be something wrong with the transducer. So let me show you what we've got. We'll come around here to the back of the boat and here's what we have. So you can see there's the Garmin transducer. That's what it should look like. And you can clearly see right there that something is not right and there's no transducer. We didn't lose the transducer, the transducer is here. But you can clearly see that that has snapped clean off. And I don't know if you can tell how big that transducer is. I think it's my hand, way bigger than my hand. That's a pretty heavy piece of kit right there. So as you can imagine, we were flying around and it was just on this cable and it was bouncing around in the back and of course it hit the side of the engine it hit the fiberglass made some good damage there and it hit the bottom part and of course it dinged the prop just a little bit there's just some nicks here just on the ends um, but it did hit everything so there's another spot right there that it hit. So what I went ahead and did was order a new bracket for the transducer. So that's on its way. It's going to be here in a couple of days, but we're going to go back to the transom here and I want to show you the difference between the two blocks that we have on there. So if you are relatively new to boats, um, you can see here that there are two blocks attached to the transom here on our boat. And what they are for is so that you don't have to screw into the transom when you're putting these, these, uh, transducers on. So this is the one that I've done. So I went and bought that block and that block right there is epoxied on and then you screw your transducer bracket into the block so that there's no screws going into the transom. On this one, now this one was on here when we got the boat, and this one, it does kind of wobble just a little bit here, and there does seem to be screws going into the transom. So what I'm going to do is, obviously I'm gonna take this off because that snapped, that's gotta go, I'll take those screws out, and then I'm gonna pop these two screws out right here. And I wanna see if this is actually epoxied on there. And if it's not, then I'm gonna epoxy it back on. I'm gonna use the screws anyways, cause they're already there and that will fill the hole and that will just hold the epoxy on there. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take these these screws out. These are the ones that were that were 
holding the other bracket on and you can see that the bracket is ripped up, cracked and everything else. That's the piece of the bracket that we have left. So that's not awesome to begin with. I'm going to take this top one out. They just have that in there actually. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out as well. That's just on there to, to hold the cable. You can put that one back in after. All right, so now kind of the moment of truth. Um, like I said, these are supposed to be epoxied on so that you don't have to put these screws in there. But I'm curious to see if these were actually screwed into the console. That doesn't seem very long, so I don't think that was in there. Oh, it was. Alright, so what you can see here is what they did was, it looks like they put a little bit of epoxy maybe. They put a little bit of epoxy around them. You can see this a little bit here. But they did screw into the transom with these, with these screws. So, like I said, the reason to put these blocks on is so that you don't screw into the transom. But this one was done that way. It is what it is. It was done before we got it. What can you do? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the epoxy on the back of this. Then I'm going to stick it on here. And then I'm going to use those screws and put those screws back in. And we're going to let it set. So here's the block you just saw me take off the back of the boat. Here is one of the screws that was in there. So there was one, there was two screws. Those two screws were holding that in the hull and then these holes here are just um, from what they were using to put the transducer bracket on that block. So here's the best part. Let's do this. This is the screw. That was through. Look at the other side. I don't know how well you can see that. So it went through and if I spin this around the right way, I'm not sure if you can see how much of that was sticking through. There is barely a quarter of an inch sticking out of there. So this boat on average does about 58, maybe 60 miles an hour. And those two screws with one quarter of an inch was holding that block and that big heavy transducer on the boat. We're going to fix that. How we're going to fix that is I am going to use epoxy to put that block back on. I'm also going to, I got new screws. I'm also going to put the screws in there and really the screws are going to do just two things for us. They're not there for strength. I'm going to put those screws in there to help hold that block onto the transom while the epoxy dries. And the screws of course are going to fill in the holes that are in the transom that were there before. So, what epoxy am I going to use? This is the stuff that I'm going to use right here. So this is JB Weld. This is the marine version of JB Weld. This stuff is fantastic. If you can read in there where it says that it's got 5,000 PSI. When that's all dry and that's all good to go, that will give you 5,000 PSI strength on the back of there. That should be good enough to hold that on there. I've used that on stuff on boats before. So, We've already roughed up the back of the block. I'm gonna get the GP weld on the go. I'm gonna rough up the back of the transom and then we're gonna put that back on there. One last thing, I guess, before we move down there, I'm also gonna put a little bit in the hole or on the end of the screw to help hold that in there. Just, you know, just to give it a little bit of extra strength. Let's go do it. All right, so there's the block back on the hull of the boat. Like I said, all I did was put some epoxy on the back side. Then I got some new screws that are just there so that it holds it in place. 
Got some stuff to clean up there, obviously. We got some epoxy in the front. We're gonna get that cleaned up. And that epoxy takes about 24 hours for it to cure. And then what I'm gonna do is put some silicone around the edges so that water can't seep in behind there like I did on the other one there. But the reason why I'm not gonna do that here right away is because I need that to dry and I wanna leave it as open to the air as much as I can for now. And then once it's all dry, then I'm gonna seal that up. So we'll wait for that to dry. All right guys, it's the next day here now. It's been about 24 hours since I put that epoxy on there. So we're gonna to take a quick look and see what we have going on. So yeah, there we go. Two screws in there. Epoxy's on there. That is good and solid on there. Now that stuff holds really, really well. Um, if you can look I can get that angle just right you can see there's a little bit of a space so of course there's going to be a space there because now you have the flat two flat surfaces and then you have the epoxy in between so it's going to create a space so i'm going to fill in that space because i don't want the water to get in there when we're on you know on the river and that sort of thing so what i'm going to use is some marine grade silicone i'll show you here what we're going to put on so here's the stuff we're going to use this is marine silicone this stuff has to go on and then it has to sit for another 12 hours. And I am just about 14 hours or so before my next plan trip. So we're gonna get that put on. Let's do it. And there it is with the silicone on it. So just a nice thin bead. Just do your best to seal that up. Try not to let the water get in there. Even if the water does get in there, I'm sure that epoxy is okay, but I like to give it some extra time here, so. That's good for now. And then once the new bracket comes in for the transducer, then I'm gonna fire that on there and we'll be all set to go.